what we've looked at is ways of improving uh, the way we manage our mornings for the benefit of all of our customers. 11,000 boats on the Thames competing for fair enjoyment of the mooring space. I talk to a lot of boaters and all their concern is mooring and trying to find somewhere to moor. Vast amounts of a stay, not only on environment agency moorings, but other moorings as well. They seem to stay there, they get there and think, oh, I've got a mooring, I'm going to stay put. If we see any boat owner breaching the terms are clearly laid out on the signage here, we'll then notify district enforcement that that vessel has incurred a charge. District enforcement will then write to the boat owner, explain they've got a charge which they need to pay. It's a good idea to stop people living on the moorings permanently, like they do. Very good idea. And not only this stretch of river, all stretches of river. A lot of people just don't want to pay to moor. Yeah. And I mean, you take your car into a town and you don't expect to leave your car for free. I think if everybody, all landowners and councils could get in on this act, then I think it would certainly help. We're hoping to develop a model that can be rolled out through the River Thames Alliance to other landowners that have problems or issues with boats overstaying on their land so we can find a proper solution for the entire length of the River Thames.